Recently, I saw a number of people shouting for joy when they discovered that they could ask Google what the national animal of Scotland was. For those who don't know, the national animal of Scotland is the unicorn. I was surprised that not many Scots knew this. Having lived in Scotland since I was a baby, I consider myself a Scot, but I came from an English family who taught me Scotland is the unicorn, England is the lion. Take a look at the front of your passport and you can see the crest of the United Kingdom has the lion and the unicorn on either side of it. Isn't it lovely to see them united? Don't they look better together? England and Scotland, equal parts in a union. Think again. I remember being taught the nursery rhyme by my grandparents. The lion and the unicorn were fighting for the crown. The lion beat the unicorn all around the town. I was taught from a young age it was the English who beat the Scots, them who have the power. The last verse reads, And when he had beat him out, he beat him in again. He beat him three times over, his power to maintain. The English power to maintain. I knew from an early age that the Scots were in servitude to the English. They were not their equal. This was no union. Of course, that was ancient history. But look at the crest they're still printing on your passport again. Look at the crest of the Union and tell me, when you look at the Scottish crown that has been forced past Scotland's head, down round its throat, with a chain securely fastened to keep Scotland in check, do you think England is an equal part of the Union demonstrated in our Union crest? Perhaps it's time we free the unicorn from its chains. Please don't take it badly, British brother, sister, friend We hold you dearly and so clearly, friendship, this is not the end But September I'll be gladly voting yes I know in my heart of hearts If we don't do it then we'll regret it when falling